at a concerto written by Robbie Supple seven to one number two is Ottawa blinkered for the first time and a first steeplechase in a ride in Britain for the champion New Zealand jockey Michelle Hopkins 20 to one number three the last fling Seamus Durack 20 to one number four young Kenny the red hot 11 to four favorite Brian Story number five the challenger from Ireland Holly Bank Buck Francis Flood nine to one Number six, the well-backed para handy Richard Guest, 15 to 2. Seven, Flake Totes, now ridden by Peter Nevin, 11 to 1. Eight, Naughty Future, Richard McGrath, 12 to 1. Nine, Flimsy Truth, Guy Lewis, 5 0, 50 to 1. Ten, Feels Like Gold, Tony Dobbin, 14 to 1. Eleven, Bally Line, Brendan Powell, 50 to 1. Twelve, Full of Oats, Robert Widger, 8 to 1. Thirteen is Peter Brian Harding, 6 to 1. 14 tough test Calvin McCormack 12 to 1 and 15 Ali Daly David Parker 5 0 50 to 1 7 to 2 Santa Concerto 7 to 1 same price 7 to 1 para handy 7 to 1 as well Peter 8 to 1 the Irish challenger Holly Bank Buck 8 to 1 as well full of oats Peter has just gone 8 to 1 as well flaked oats is a 10 to 1 shot naughty future is 12 so they're off and running four miles and a furlong 27 fences and Peter one of the first to go on with full of oats and right up with them is Ali Daly Santa Concerto well there as well towards the outside and as they jump the first streaming over the first on the far side the back markers naughty future and they're not going to mess about here they're going to make this a good test and up front it's Ottawa and the lady jockey Michelle Hopkins who's going to show the fellas the lead at the home straight for the first time in second place the top weight Santa Concerto then comes Ali Daly in the white colors and the black colors is Peter behind this one early on is Bally line towards the outside on the inside running six is uh, full of oats behind full of oats is the Irish challenger Holly Bank Bucks this is the first of the ditches they'll be jumping in this they're all safely over the first two down the straight they come for the first time coming up this side to uh, dispute it early on we have Bally line and on the far side Santa Concerto Ottawa with the blinkers on for the first time jumps it in third naughty future not too keen towards the rear but there's a long way to go coming up the home straight towards fence number four and as they uh, jump it it's Bally line and Brendan Powell who take them along Santa Concerto is second Ali Daly is third in fourth place as they come to what will be the last in two circuits time is Ottawa this is the leading four and they're safely over the fence that will be the last uh, next time round and they're all over that and passing the stands and we've lost one towards the rear uh, pulled up uh, towards the rear we have naughty future and young Kenny's gone young Kenny has fallen he's coming past riderless and young Kenny has gone so the favorites out of the Ida and uh, this one here has been pulled up that's naughty future but young Kenny is out of the race the well back favorite so back with the leaders with two circuits left to run drama already and Bally line takes them along from in second place Santa Concerto in third place is Ottawa Peter goes the shortest way in fourth fifth behind this one is the lightly weighted Ali Daly then comes flimsy truth towards the outside in the maroon with the light blue sleeves then behind this one towards the middle of the field is the old timer full of oats behind full of oats is the Irish challenger Holly Bank Buck towards the outside is feels like gold as they jump the first of the downhill fences and looking back towards the rear now the back marker is the last fling going down towards fence number seven of the 27 in this year's toad Ida and as they come to it Bally line keeping clear of trouble out there in the lead the leader by a couple of lengths Santa Concerto is in second place in third is Ottawa let's check out the prices young Kenny has gone nine to four favorite that money's already in the bookie satchels Peter 11 to 2 Santa Concerto 50 to 2 and it's 8 to 1 bar these so swing left-handed down the far side for the first time going towards fence number eight of the 27 this is a plain one Bally line Santa Concerto they're in the air together in third place is Ottawa Michelle Hopkins having a first chase ride in Britain behind these in fourth is flimsy truth then comes Ali Daly then the last fling trying to get into it behind this is para handy as they jump that ditch Peter the second favorite beginning to struggle and he's getting reminders already is Peter going down towards the next on the far side this is fence number 10 and they've got one para handy made a mistake there he had to sit tight but they're all okay and they've got two and a half miles left to travel in the tote Ida and 
people up front in the pink colours, it's Bally Line. In second place is Santa Concerto. With the blinkers on Ottawa, then comes in third, in fourth place the last fling. Towards the outside is Feels Like Gold as they jump this plane fence on the far side. Behind Feels Like Gold, making ground smoothly now is Para Handy on the inside of this one as they go towards the last uh, on the far side. We're looking for flake totes, and behind this one comes Holly Bank Buck. That's the order, and still towards the rear at this stage is Peter, and he's got a bit of ground to make up on this leader. Bally Line, who swings into the home straight with two miles left to jump in the tote Ida, a length in front of the top weight, Santa Concerto. Ottawa is third, the last fling is fourth. Making ground into fifth and going well is the well back para handy. Towards the outside is Feels Like Gold. Behind this one comes Tough Test. And pulling up towards the rear is Flimsy Truth. He's been pulled up towards the rear. This is an open ditch and still Peter the back marker. And also keeping this one company towards the rear is Hollybank Buck. Back with the leaders and still Bally Line, the leader by two. The big horse, Santa Concerto, right behind in second. Ottawa is in third, the last fling fourth. Feels like gold is fifth. Then comes the lightly weighted tough test, going well on the heels of the leaders. Behind this one, Flake Dotes is getting closer all the time. That's the order as they jump what will be the second last on the next circuit. There's still over a circuit to go in front of them, and this is another plain one. Fence number 16 of the 27 in the Tote Ida. Valley line on the inside. Santa Concerto is in second place. Ottawa running his best race for a long time in third. Behind this one, towards the outside, is Feels Like Gold. Then making ground in the maroon and light blue checks is the old-timer, the 13-year-old full of oats. Now, this, fellas, is where it starts to get interesting. Well, Bally Lines make it, and in Santa Concerta, the top weight travelling like a class horse, but the race really changed by young Kenny's early departure. The last fling's still travelling, and Peter's getting back into it. I'd like to be on Santa Concerto at the moment. He's travelling very, very well. Robbie's been very positive on him. He's sure he's going to get the trip. Feels like gold. He's creep, crept his way into the race. He's got a very light weight, but there's still plenty in left with the chance. Back to you, Derek. So as they go to 17 of the 27, that guy better get out the way pretty quick. Valley line on the right as we look at them. Disputes it with Santa Concerto. Oh, a mistake there by Tough Test. And Calvin McCormack sat tight. The back marker is now Ali Daly going down towards this other downhill fence. Santa Concerto, the top weight, got a bit close to it, but he's okay over that. They're getting a bit tired now. But look at this, the class act in the race, Santa Concerto. He disputes it with on the inside Bally line and making ground into third now, going very well. It feels like gold. That's the three leaders. Chasing them in fourth is the old-timer, full of oats. Then comes Hollybank Buck, the winner of the Leopardstown chase. He's beginning to stay on into fifth. North, behind this one is Tough Test after this, that mistake. And then behind this one, as they jump the first on the far side, is Flake Totes. They're well strung out. Peter's been pulled up. Peter's been pulled up, and the one who's way back is Ali Daly. So going down towards the second-last ditch on the far side. Santa Concerto, the top weight. No one's won the Ida chase under this sort of weight for a very long time. But he's going well. On the outside, feels like gold. Comes up to dispute it. Bally line right there in third place. These are the three at the head of affairs. Then comes Full of Oats, 13 years of age, running a big race in fourth. Staying on on the outside is Tough Test. Look at the Irish horse, Holly Bank Buck and Francis Flood. Staying on on the heels of the leaders. A little gap then to the last fling. Santa Concerto disputes it with feels like gold. And these two are stride for stride as they now go up the hill on the far side. Hollybank Buck makes ground to go third. Then comes Full of Oats running a big race in fourth. And Tough Test is the back of that leading group as they jump the last on the far side. Then comes the last fling, try to stay on in six. It's Santa Concerto who has the lead now, the top weight. But can he keep going under 11 stone two? Here comes Tony Dobbin on the Nicky Richards train. Feels like gold. He's only got 10 stone. He's getting plenty of weight, 24 pounds from Santa Concerto. Holly Bank Buck runs a big race for Ireland in third, and right behind in fourth is full of oats. This is the last ditch. Feels like gold jumps to the front. Santa Concerto beginning to struggle in second. Holly Bank Buck is third. In fourth is full of oats. Three left to jump in the 1999 Toad Ida. And here comes Feels Like Gold. But Holly Bank Buck is now the danger. Santa Concerto is third. In fourth is full of oats. These four are clear. Which one of these four is going to win the Toad Ida? Two left to jump as they come down towards the second last 
this side. Hollybank buck for Islet. He lands in the lead, but only by half a length. On the far side is Feels Like Gold. Between them is Full of Oats, full of running. And look at this, Full of Oats has come through. Three in line, one left to jump. Full of Oats in the middle. Hollybank buck this side. On the far side is Feels Like Gold. Who's going to get there? A furlong left to run. Full of Oats on the far side. Hollybank buck this side. Hollybank buck for, for Ireland. Might just get his head in front close home. He's going to win the Ida. Hollybank buck is the winner. Full of Oats is second. Oh, what a tremendous race that was with Feels Like Gold in third. They're finishing well strung out. They're finishing desperately tired. But after 27 fences and four miles and a furlong, it's Hollybank Buck, trained by Tony Martin in Ireland and ridden by Francis Five. Hollybank Buck, 10 to 1, the winner. Second, number 12, full of oats, 8 to 1. Third, number 10, feels like gold, 14 to 1. The favourite, Young Kenny, well back, 9 to 4. That fell very early on.